Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to see what the tea is, see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. That sounds so far away, and I'm right here. Can you hear me now? Yellow hearts if you rock with me, cut my sticks, I mean, I have my back because I have yours. There you have it. I know that is loud, but we got to do some shuffling to make sure everything that comes out is authentic. Caught a case. Oh, God. Hustling. I say I'm not going to use these cards full of drama. Hustling, making it rain, focused on money, um, crying over you. So, um, yeah, if you can read the cards, you can read the cards. But uh, caught a case. This is somebody... Um, upset and sad and crying over you because um, they focused on the wrong things. The card is right here. We have at the bottom of the, in their head. So somebody's in their head over you. There could be some things going on, but they're obsessive. They're crying over you. They're sad and upset. Uh, to me, the way that they make ends meet is not working out as but it pays the bills. Yes, it does. Y'all know I can't sing. But anyway, I don't know if I even said my my spiel because I'm sitting up here letting the sun shine in my eyes. And there you have it. Um, You guys do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my sticks, me to have my back because I have yours. There you have it. If I didn't say it, I said it again. Let's go back to Erica. Work ain't honest, but it pays the bills. So whatever this person is doing, they're saying because it pays the bills, so they have to do it. Caught a case, hustling, crying over you, hooked, obsessive lover, and in their head. Somebody's in their head over you. I'm going to pull um, some of these cards to get a, another direction to see what it is that you have going on. The card that flipped over is feelings. Yeah, somebody in their feelings. Um, healing begins with feeling. It says, be gentle with yourself and tender with your heart. So, uh, healing be begins with feelings. Be gentle with yourself and tender with your heart. So, um, this is basically, I have a shirt like this. I said that in my reading years ago. That's what this card reminds me of is a shirt that I had got as a present in mind. Yeah. So mind, mind's in tandem. You're in somebody's head, your thoughts. You know, somebody is thinking about you in the 5D if you're in separation with someone. Um, it says you are the master of your inner world and you decide how the outer world affects you. Cultivate a calm inner state. So, um, yeah, in their head. So all of this is a mind game. All of this is what's happening is somebody is thinking about you. Somebody is realizing that. Work ain't honest, but it pays the bills, you know, and, um, you know, making it rain, focused on um, money, getting it and things like that. Everybody was focused on getting, you know, the bottom line, the dollar and all this other things, but not the consequences, justice, energy, justice, energy, consequences of their actions. Um, I'll put energy. Let me pull your energy. It's about us and what we are healing through. I really don't care about the other energy, but I know you guys do. The thing is, is that you have to learn from the past. So I always pull it up just to kind of let you see where your emotions were. You know, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But the key goal is about you and about what it is that you have to do to overcome or to get out of your mind and to get over, you know, and I, uh, my read the other day was get out of your own way. So the cards come out is the five of swords. Yes. Ego and the sun growth. So there is somebody growing over ego, but the five of swords is an unwinnable situation. You had to grow from an unwinnable situation and end things. Death energy is here. And it says, embrace change, let go of what no longer serves you. Death is in the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. So the new beginnings can be that somebody is having a real, um, what is it, a real epiphany in regards to um, how you made them feel there uh, and the things that they thought was important that really isn't. So um there you have it the feelings are there this is an emotional read this person is emotional over you and they're realizing that their ego 
and also an unwinnable situation for you uh, caused you to grow and to get out of a situation because at one point you probably felt uh, like sad and hurt and upset and hooked to this person, felt like this was your twin flame. And here it is. She has seven of wands energy. There was some type of uh, energy where you have, yeah, queen of swords. Yeah, this person was very, very, very defensive over everything. And um, the queen of swords energy, very um, unbiased, but they had clear boundaries and were very direct. You weren't, you know, um, a winnable situations are here and growth is here. So the seven of wands energy just lets you know that, you know what, you had to, this person was very defensive, like I said in the beginning, and they always make, maintain control over uh, feelings and, the, and their money and things like that. Empress energy, Empress energy is basically, you know, creating, they, they were very creative in the way that they did things. And there was a lot of clarity because they felt like if they did anything else besides what they should, you know, what was causing them to be able to support themselves, um, Ace of Swords energy being here, um, they felt like it was um, um, going to cause some type of destruction or um, a lack there of uh, when it came to um, how they survived or their hustle, you know, so uh yeah i think that was um i was gonna sing gotta get this money baby gotta get this money i'm from the bay area so that was three times crazy song if you know you know but yeah opportunities and knight of wands you only live one straight drake energy so they felt like when it came to love and and uh being in their head and being in their feelings you know they felt like uh they couldn't they couldn't do that. You know, it was more ego over anything else. And so when it came to Six of Swords energy, you, somebody walking away or protecting their own, your own energy, uh, Six of Swords, like I say, when it came to that type of energy, you know, seeking progress or really looking at things for what it is, you walked away because, again, they were in their Drake energy. You only live once. And so, therefore, when it came to Five of Cups, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing them sadness. They're sad because you walked away, but, you know, you were not in your feelings. You were loving them, and they were, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. We have three Aces out here, so, you know, this is new choices. They have new choices to make. Ace of Pentacles is basically, you know, having um, confidence and being able to go through and to be able to uh, be abundant and, you know, all these different things, a different way of looking at the way that they did things in the past. It's not all about money, you know, having the courage and the desire to understand that life is more than, uh, what is it, sex ain't better than love, but the money thing will come. They just had to get out of this energy because, again, new, um, new concepts and, you know, just new energies when it comes to the ACEs energy or, you know, it's just like all new energy, you know. It's like going after passions. It's actually you know, have, being compassionate and, and it's manifesting change and it's creations, you know, those types of things are what they had to look at when you decided to grow and uh, out of an unwinnable situation. And now they're in their head because you ended the energies and seven of pentacles. And while you ended the energies, you planted a seed in their head. Uh, if you can see, I'm going to close this, but the sun is, and I did this the other uh, day, the sun is setting right here on my desk and my other windows are over here. So the sun is just here and you guys need to be a part of that. But um, anyway, the seven of pentacles energy, seven years, they've been um, dealing with you and not able to make up their minds. So now they're thinking of a situation like, how can I get cancer back? Seven of pentacles is planting a seed. So they did all these concepts when it came to making the things and making the money and being direct with uh with the things that the hustle and stuff like that and creating things when now they have to change their belief system higher friend energy you know this is obey to uh the cause and the cause was just you know you getting out of your own head them getting out of their way and you ending things in order for growth and that is 
where it's an unwinnable situation, you're not fighting anymore. You're just basically going with the flow, if that makes sense. And so that is kind of how I see that. The seven, uh, the seven of Pentacles energy, again, just lets you know that seven years it took for them to realize that, you know, the long term and the perseverance and that long term investments are what it where it's at. And that's all you ever tried to teach them was about love and the long term effect. So this is the hidden secrets that I'm pulling from now. But yeah, uh, beauty. Yeah, they see the beauty in you now. They see the beauty there. The feelings are there. They see the beauty in you. Yeah, and a different perspective when it comes to what it is that they want now. So they're changing their belief system, higher fin energy, like I said before, obeying to a cause. But, you know, it's just a matter of where it is and, you know, changing, unlearning to relearn, you know, the and to conform to other things besides everything that they want ego, right? Everything that they get. I'm going to close this um, blind because it's blinding me. Yeah, but, uh, you know, they see everything um, from a different perspective. No, that's too dark. They see everything from a different perspective. And, you know, you're just like, well, I tried, you know. So the love situation. No, let me let me pull from this card deck. I don't remember the name of this card deck, but this is basically in regards like a like a message of love or like honest, honest love. Uh, messages or something like that I can't remember exactly what it is but yeah you know they had to I can't be your friend anymore we need to be uh, we need to become something more yeah so this is what they want because of the fact they've been thinking about you it was all over you know money and it says I need closure from you we need some sort of conclusion please accept my invitation so they're looking at it from a different perspective they want you to accept their invitation however they want to be more than that so they want to try to sneak in what it is that they believe that you guys should have but i believe you're over it um but people grow you'll be able to make your own decisions you don't have to listen to my decision i just believe that sometimes you know you need to um give a person a chance to uh say what it is that they want to say and move forward now if you're not strong enough to do that I get that. And so basically what you need to do is just to move forward and say, you know, we can keep in contact, you know, or something of the sort. But, you know, I'm not ready right now, you know, and go from there. But, you know, it's, it's good to hear people out, but sometimes it's just not um, deeply. Look deeply within your uh, within to discover your soul's purpose in your relationship. So, again, that's what they had to do in the universe. The universe is guiding you to allow, uh, excuse me, the universe is guiding you uh, to that per that special person. Allow everything to take its course, its natural course. So um, endings bring new beginnings. So again, the universe could be guiding you guys back together. But again, um, they want to be more than friends and they want to say they need closure to have this, um, to, to bring you closer to them. But again, it's up to you if you accept you know nobody else has to accept this situation but you and that's just kind of how i see that i am going to pull i have my cards one day and then they totally moved the next day but anyway let's pull from the destined love oracle to see what is going on um yeah i can't stress enough to like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video um retreat yeah see this is what they're doing they're going to invite you to somewhere where you can just relax and hang three cards came out yeah um in the reverse is life partner self-love and trust so here's the thing you don't trust yourself you feel like that if this person if you do allow this person who you claim to be your life partner at one point if you allow them to come back in your life you're not gonna do this whole self-love thing while they're around healing yeah because you've healed and now you know you're 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 contemplating and second guessing yourself because you don't trust yourself in regards to being able to be around this person um and the retreat is here because this person is going to ask you to go out of town with them or go on a vacation with them and it's totally up to you if that's what you want to do but again you've ascended since you've ascended 
I'll pull from the Ascended Life Oracle deck, meaning that you've grown, but you know, you know in the bottom of your heart that there are answers that you haven't gotten from this person and that you really want. And so again, it's up to you. It's totally up to you. I have no control over what you do. Ghosting, sudden disappearing act, cutting off, off all communication, feeling rejected, dealing with lack of closure. <laughs> dealing with lack of closure i mean i didn't make this up you just seen that so that's the reason why i'm saying we need closure from you uh from you we need some sort of conclusion please accept my invitation the invitation is to go magnet magnetic okay so this is why again obsessive lover that could have been you that now it's them um it says seduction charm attracting things in life attraction to attraction to something or someone hard to resist something or someone so that's the reason why you don't trust yourself around this person and you don't think that you'll be able to be strong enough to not be giggly and back to get back to you know where um that strong person without being weak for them during that time and it's fine i mean that's totally up to you if you feel like you can do it then do it you know, and I'm not, you know, that's, that's just totally up to you. So I'm going to pull, let's see. Where is this card deck coming? Okay, yeah. I'm pulling from the True Emotional deck. I'll pull from here and the Zodiac. Um, Intuit Oracle Zodiac 108. Um, yeah, I'll pull from here to see what comes out. But I just believe, I haven't done a read like this in a while. I want to keep your readings kind of short. So, uh. You can come back and watch them. But, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I like to give these detailed readings. And I just haven't, um, probably because I haven't had the time. But hold on a second. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to pull from the True Emotional Deck to see what is going on with the emotions, yours and your person's emotions. You know, right now, you have to be able to put you know, to kind of make those, it was a reading that I did the other day, running, yeah, see, you're running from the emotions, but again, this was what this person did uh, to you, and now you're just reciprocating it, no strings attached, so you're running, and they're like, no, we should do this, you know, and you're like, no, I don't, I'm not attached to this anymore, no strings attached, but in actuality, you're thinking in your head, like, they're trying to explain you know, and you're like, nope. Mm -mm. So you're avoiding this because you don't trust yourself and you don't trust this person, not just yourself. And you thought that this person was your life partner. Five storm, karma, drama, endings. And it says a mental breakdown. You had a mental breakdown when it came to this person. And, um, you know, it was hard for you to get over this. And I totally understand that. But you healed and now you know what your triggers are. And now you can see it from a mile away. Only you can see it. Only you know. I could have swore a card turned over. Only you can see it. Only you know basically what it is and how um, and what you went through. Yeah, getting readings. So you're getting readings to try to ask, ask, to try to, or you're not getting, but you're listening to readings to try to see what it is that's going to happen next. But at some point, I can't tell you what they will say. The only thing I can tell you is that they left you hanging and you needed closure. But romance is there now is it from this person hmm i don't know you know but somebody's true colors you know them back and front front and back and you'll be able to spot someone's true colors and that was a part of the healing journey that you had to go through in order to do that because this person left you hang hanging again with no closure this is a big thing in this reading is that closure is here you know closure is here closure is here and closure is here Dealing with a lack of closure, ghosting, left you hanging. So this is ghosting, left you hanging, no closure, a lack of closure, and we need closure. And then romance is here because you had a mental breakdown. And respectfully, you've healed from that. And they they see what they didn't see. What is it? I know there's something there that wasn't there before. Beauty and the Beast, you know I love Disney. But again, you've healed from a situation and therefore you know the their true colors and you know the red flags when they come up so 
go out of town, no flamingos, fuck amigos, like my grandbaby used to say. And the universe, soulmates, lovers, union, courtship, uh, dating, attraction, sed uh, seduce, long-term potential. That's what you saw in the beginning. Just saying, I'm not talking you into it. I'm just saying, display of affection, charm, it factor, two of a kind, alluring, and then je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. And then the universe. Um, so here, um, what was I about to say? I was saying something. What was I going to say? Oh, this is the Pisces energy. Sorry, the Flamingos. And the Flamingos, you guys. Scorpio energy is the universe. It says source, infinity, unending, enduring. It says um, inter internal, excuse me, eternal, creation, awakening, interconnected, heaven, higher perspective, the big picture, all that is, creative force, and law of one. So, again, you know that. Uh, you basically had to, water person, an emotional idealist, emotionally connected, psychic, emp empathic, uh, intuitive, sensitive, heart-centered, uh, feelings feels deeply, takes things personal, healer, counselor, advisor, or author. This came sideways. You know that the water sign in you, the healer, the empath, the whale, deeper meanings, you see the deeper meanings in every situation and you can really see their true colors so you are afraid because it came out kind of sideways to be your authentic self with this person because you healed from this and now you don't you're running from and avoiding this and they're going to come back and want to talk about closure and what you guys have and you have to be the one to determine if this is right or not so the whale is here again which is cancer energy, water, deeper meanings, community, hidden emotions, nourishing, social resources, true feelings, supportive, savings, per perception, um, sustenance, um, looking deeper, provider, wait, I can't see my nail. Oh, provided for in consciousness. So again, this is who you are. You, this is who you are. So has the well ran dry or do you realize that you're an emotionally connected person, an empathetic person, very intuitive, heart center who falls deeply and feels deeply and always takes things personally. But healer is here, counselor, advisor, and author. You have the means to create your own story without listening to anyone, which you never do. And so when the people told you in the beginning that this person wasn't the one for you, that made you go to them even more because you felt like there was a connection and all they cared about was money, but you were going to show them that life is more than just money and hustle. It's about trust and love. Boom. So you know their true colors. And deep down, you know that they had Jezebel tendencies, right? Yeah, and it was my way, damn it, and it was my way or the highway, but your spiritual gifts, arrogant, selfish, stubborn, pride and ego, which is the five of, uh, excuse me, the five of swords, which is there, your spiritual gifts would break this person from all of this, and it might take some time, but you did it, and so now, what is it that you want to do? Only you know what their true colors are. And you know they were broken. And you knew that they needed is had issues. And you had to figure out the ace of pen the all of the aces. I'm going to pull this out the way because I think I'm going to clarify the aces. We have the ace of swords. You had clarity. You had confidence. And you saw love and the opportunity here. So let me move this out the way. Yes, this is a long reading. A longer reading, shall I say. So here we go. This is how it came out. I think this way. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify with... Um, this card deck. I don't know which card deck this is. I forget what it's called. But you know what? I haven't used this deck. 
like Echo says. Hmm. Ouch. I don't know which deck I want to use. I think I'm going to try to use this one because I've never used this one at all. Not in one reading. Let's see. We're going to clarify the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords energy. So, let's clarify the Ace of Cups energy. The Ace of Cups energy comes out with the Three of Swords. So, <laughs> This is where you are right now. So the Ace of Cups being here, right? Love, new relationships, compassion, and creativity comes with heartbreak. This is why you're not willing to go back because your heart was broken. You had to basically try to pull your heart back together, mend it back together, glue it back together while you cry and go through everything so you don't think that there is room for a new opportunity. Um, the Ace of Swords first, the clarity. The clarity that you had in regards to um, seeing their true colors and knowing basically who they are came with two cards. The two cards are the Fool and the Knight of Wands. You only live once. Shut up. Okay, so you were a fool for this energy. Like I just said to you earlier, that if those people told you not to do it in the beginning, you went ahead and did it. You didn't listen to anyone because... You were a fool in love. You just a fool. You know you in love. Knowing what you knowing that you know nothing and you know everything. That it's okay. The bird will help me up and the umbrella will help me fly. I'm gonna take this leap. And my Drake energy, you only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you love. That was the clarity that you had at the point of where it is, um, in the beginning. And the ace of pentacles energy. Ace of Pentacles comes with the Eight of Pentacles. Now you have the courage. You did the work. So what are you afraid of? I was listening to Lemonade the other day and the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Listen, <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles is opportunities. It's manifesting. It's abundance. It's courage. You know, it's going after your desires. It's it's you you having prosperity no matter what the situation is. So I was I was look, listening to Lemonade the other day, Beyonce's Lemonade. So Ace of Pentacles, it's four, four aces out here. This is new concepts that you have to have in order to move forward. But the Eight of Pentacles, doing the work, you've done the work. I was listening to, I'm going to say it three times now, um, the Lemonade album. And um, it says, so now that you've broken me, are you going to, whatever it says about building you back up, this is the man who did this and did that. Now you're going to build me back up. And it is in, found the truth beneath your lies. Y'all know I can't sing. True love is so hard to find. You know? Um, so that's where it is. But I'm sorry. N no. You know? So that's how I see that. And if we want to clarify even more, let's clarify even more. 28 minutes in. Uh, look, the Two of Cups tried to turn over. So for the Three of Swords, let's get their perspective. I guess that's what we're doing right now. The Three of Swords. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. Yeah, I just, you know, they believe that one way. Yeah, Nine of Swords, anxiety. They're going through a lot of anguish when it comes to you and them knowing that you had to mend your heart and that you've healed from them, and that you they don't have that same, you don't have those same feelings for them like you would. You wouldn't stop for them, you know? And so you guys are looking at that. The Eight of Pentacles is here. Eight years. Okay, eight years. So Seven of Pentacles is up there, but eight years. Hold on. Comes with. Now they realize you have options. Look. Now they realize you have options. They have anxiety because they realize you have options. They realize that you took a leap with them, and they realize that, you know, you were a fool for them. You just a fool. You know you in love. You know, Knight of Wands. Okay, so, yep, Six of Wands. But now you're having victory. You're having victory. Page of Pentacles, you did the work. And the High Priestess, you trusted your intuition. And bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. You're having everything that you want, and they know it now. And this is what they were fighting for, but it did. It came to you with ease. So 
the Page of Pentacles says, never stop learning because if you think you know every anything, everything, you know nothing at all. And that is what you were trying to teach them. You know, that's what you were trying to teach them. This isn't everything. The way you, what you're doing isn't everything, you know? And so this is what they know about you now is that you've changed your feelings in regards to um, how you were always there for them and that you've healed from that situation and that you have the courage and you have the finances or you've created, you, you, you planted seeds in order to have the finances. You're no longer heartbroken. You're afraid because you've healed and it took you a lot to get to this point. You had to pick up all the pieces and glue them all together. And it took a lot for you to get to this point. And now they want to come back around as if nothing has ever happened or to say what it is that you they think you want to hear, right? And so here it is. I'm going to pull from the emotion deck. And after this, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. But after this, we're going to pull from the crystal deck and um, see... Um, the chakras, you're empowered. You're empowered. It says powerful, capable, and strong. And they know that even though you were shy and hesitant and very reserved and timid when they first met you, you're not that person anymore. Love, romance, and then we have afraid and comforted. So you, you've you empowered this, this yourself. You're not shy. You're not intimidated no more. You're not afraid and nobody can comfort you. You're reassured and you're comforted by yourself, your empowerment. Because it took a long time, yearning, wistful, and homesick. It took a long time for you to get to this point of healing. And so now here it is that, you know, you have to make a decision. And so you know their true colors, not me. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. And then I'm going to from the four agreements I said it backwards but anyway the four agreements is be impeccable with your words seek to know the truth say what you want mean what you say ask for what it is that you want seek to know the truth and so this is the truth again what did I say I was naming this um, no closure seek to know the truth when you hear an opinion and believe it you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system the only and the belief system is here. Remember I said they had to change their belief system? Where is it at? The Hierophant energy. Um, well, anyway, the Hierophant energy is there. Um, it says the only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. And that is why you're in your feelings. But this is what you need. You need closure in order to be set free. You need closure in order to be set free. And this is the root chakra, the smoky quartz, okay? So the smoky quartz is removes negativity, transformation, and grounding. This is everything that you had to do. The flame of life is ignited within me. The flame of light is ignited within me. And as I say that, the sun comes through going down. So there you have it. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate. Negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.